Have you ever met a quilter that struggles putting the right fabrics together to make that perfect quilt really sing? Well, I've got a couple of tricks I'd like to share with you so that you can share it with them or maybe yourself. You ready? Let's get started. So yeah, you walk into a quilt shop and often you see these beautiful quilts on the wall and often right under that is the display of the fabric line that coordinates and goes with itself to make beautiful quilts. But what happens when you want to make a quilt that doesn't focus on a specific fabric line? Where do you do it? How do you do it? Where do you get started? How do you get through the whole process? What do you need to know in choosing fabrics to build a quilt? Well, let me walk you around the shop and show you how I do it. So, of course, step one is the hunt. Go to the local quilt shop, or online, but it's way easier in person, and wander through the shop until you find something that you just absolutely love. Now, this looks like this could be my cup of tea, but you see, a lot of these really aggressive Alexander Henry fabrics, they're awesome, but they don't go together. They're meant for theme fabrics. So let's grab one of these. I think I like this one right here, and let's build a quilt featuring this fabric. So we're going for a couple things here, folks. We're going for both color and we're going for scale. Scale is the size of the print, and this is a very large, very aggressive print. So this will be the biggest or the theme fabric. And everything from here down, I wanna find probably about another six to seven pieces, depending on what kind of quilt I would be building. So I'm gonna look for a few mediums and a lot of smalls and or solids because that way your eye will really come back to the theme fabrics. So let's find something um, in the medium size scale and in the, the fine or the solid scale in the purples and the greens. And then we're gonna hit a black and I think we're gonna use a a cream color or maybe this red green to pop these. This is gonna be really cool. So the first thing I'll start to do is just pull things and audition. Too bright against that purple, that actually dulls that out. Let's see if this will do it. Oh yeah, much better. Fabric reacts to the fabric around it. So one of the things you wanna do is trust your instinct. Even those of you who do not think you're any good with color. By the way, I think I'm no good with color as well, but I hear a lot of you say you like the colors I pick. What I really do is just pick colors until it feels right inside and, and it's art so that's an okay answer i guess Ooh, i really like that one with it that one may be a little light but now folks i'm using the mode of grunge as i'm putting this against the alexander henry fabric and so too much of the same scale will also start to make it look like it's all from the same fabric line or too much of the same fabric line so i better wander around the rest of the shop and find some other textures and some other variety maybe even some fun florals to make this tattoo design pop and if you're like me, your color memory is terrible. So it's much easier to take the bolt back with you and go around the shop and keep finding some of the things. So now we're looking for some solids that are gonna match. And I really will. I'll just bring it along until something just hits. Boom, there it is. That's the one. Now, as I see more of it, I may not be as convinced that I like it as much. Let's see if I like this one a little bit better. Nope, see how much it, the darker one actually is gonna affect it better? And you may not know that until you actually do some auditioning. Now, the folks love it here because I come in and make a big old mess and then I just keep on rolling. Let's grab the right orange, red, too right now to pop those roses and those flowers. That's awesome. Okay, so now we've got two solids looking good. There's also snake skin or snakes in my fabric. So what if I found some batik? that had like the right color or the right texture for those scales. That would be kind of neat. Oh, you see, now that's a pretty one. That's a batik that's got some pinks and purples that really match nicely into my theme fabric. But it's also, as you can see, kind of a bamboo style print. And that's gonna match in nice with the Asian tattoo theme and the floral theme that's going on in my theme fabric as well. So that's a great grab right there. That's gonna be considered a medium scale print. But now you may see that that dark green solid may not be the best of choices. My palette is starting to wash back out again, so we need to bring in some more color back to those purples. And again, of course, that black, black for the base. Okay, my stack is growing. This is gonna be awesome. Now we're over to the black blacks. And you can use a solid, solid black or a little bit of something with texture, but because of the gray overwash of the tattoo looking fabric, I want heavy dark black. So I think I'm gonna pull, that looks really, really good. See, that's the Moda jet black. This is getting kind of heavy though, I guess. 
Maybe that'll do. Oh yeah. You see how it's going to pop all those colors? Let's get this stack of fabric back over with our purples and our teals on the other side of the room. Let's see how this is coming together. Okay, we're starting to build something awesome here now. Without purple in there, I think we're going to go like this. I think we're going to need a little bit more medium scales. But look what I found. This is a Riley Blake. It's a really cool kind of cream to brown texture, which is going to help me with those skulls. Wonderful there. Then I've got the lighter green that has some purple in it that's going to pop. So that's another great choice, I think, right there. I think I'm going to lose that green grunge so I can bring in my solid. So again, kind of a small print, small print solid. I'm going to pop the red, probably like just an inner border or something, or some little cornerstones, some splashes. I don't have a pattern picked. And if you had a pattern picked, of course, it would be a lot easier. But I'm just building for my stash because I fell in love with the steam fabric. And now I want to make sure I have enough to build just about anything when I get home. Probably get at least a half of a yard, if not a whole yard of each of things. And whenever I find a theme fabric I really love, I really try to treat myself to at least two, if not three yards, just kind of depending on where my budget's at during that quilt shop visit. Um, okay, so we were weeding through some of these. We definitely have the solid black, that's gonna be awesome. And then also the green bamboo texture. I do think I want that lighter purple but I still feel like this is very, very solid reading. We need one or two more medium prints. So let's get back out there on walkabout and see what we can find. Okay, so now the goal is a green like medium print that falls in here. So I'm just again, walking my palette with my bolt until I find what I want. And I'll do the same with one more purple print. Okay, folks, I think this might be it. If you look at the uh, wonderful colors there of the snake, and I'm coming right here. This might be the magic bolt because now this has got the wonderful colors, a little bit of darker, a little bit of lighter, but it's a bigger scale print. It's not going to look like a solid like the rest of the stuff I had already chosen. So that's a winner. Let's go find the purple. Oh, wow. This could be the one. Now, this is over in the boutique section again, and it's got a lot of great texture, the floral feel, the purple. Now, the blue is kind of a new color, so I'm going to have to put it with everything else before I can officially say yes to that but one of the things is we had already pulled one batik so i like to have you know it make it look like it makes sense so i don't want just one batik i want two or three batiks so it means you know i was pulling the right fabrics okay so now as we wander back to the stash you can see i actually grabbed a backup purple floral batik just in case the first one is too muddy this second one may be perfect for brightening up the whole quilt project as we head back into the stash so I hope this has helped you all a little bit, folks. I'm certainly glad you're still here with the video. I did. I just wanted to show you how I like to pick my fabrics when I'm building a quilt. I'm using a whole variety of different brands of fabric versus using a pre-cut kit um, or even a pre-cut package of fabrics all from the same designer. So just remember, fall in love with the fabric. That is the, the, the theme that you're going to be going for. And it really does help if you have a pattern in mind because then you'll know what yardages you need. For me, I just fell in love with the pattern and I really want to make sure I've got the fabrics necessary. So then I used a variety of scale or the size of the print and a variety of tones and color all kind of pushing back into or brightening up my theme print because I felt like my theme print could use a little bit of punch to make it that so well with Rob Appel impact style. So now all we have to do is figure out a pattern for this wonderful fabric. And if you'll let me know in the comments below, one, was this video helpful for you? If it was, please hit like and, and share the video. That really helps the channel grow. And secondly, um, I'd love to know what pattern do you think would be awesome using these fabrics? Remember, we have 10 fabrics to choose from. We could probably omit one or two if we needed to. Um, and I'm going to get myself, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to get a yard of everything. And I think I'm going to get two and a half of the theme fabric. So we've got plenty. So let me know in those comments below what kind of pattern should we make out of these awesome fabrics and uh, maybe i'll even take you along for that ride as well folks thanks for being here i hope this help was very helpful again subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time with another great great video stay well thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video it really helps support our channel if you haven't subscribed, do so now. Hit the little button to be notified every time we go live or do a new video for all of you. 
And here's one from the past I think you'll really enjoy.